Hey guys, this week we're going to be doing pros and cons of living in Mountain Home Part 2. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Randy here. I'm a realtor with Next Home Treasure Valley. Back in, I think it was August, late August, I did five pros and cons of living in Mountain Home, Idaho, part one. And I knew that I would come around to a part two, just didn't know when. And then the last month I have not put out one video, had a little bit of the writer's block. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and do a uh, part two of uh, pros and cons of living in Mountain Home. So the first pro is we do have a public swimming pool. I believe I talked about this possibly even in the first one, but the swimming pool here, it's a nice swimming pool. It's right by the skate park. The con is that swimming pool is actually closed from August, like mid August all the way to May. I mean, the pool closes and it's still like hundred degrees outside. So that could be a little frustrating. I believe they are um, trying to get a center that would have an indoor pool, which would be so awesome. But I know that there is some push back on that so I'm not really sure if that's happening or not the second pro would be we have quite a few restaurants here in town so you have a variety you have Mexican Italian Chinese American of course and then there's other fast food places the con is what we do have we have a lot of meaning we have three subways in town two McDonald's many Mexican food restaurants quite a few pizza places so we do have variety, but we need a little more variety, if you will, in my honest opinion. I would like to see more places come in, but I'm very grateful for what we do have. Pro number three, we have a really cool name that makes us sound like we are this beautiful city up in the mountains. A lot of people, I think, are attracted to Mountain Home because of the name Mountain Home, but the con there, of course, and you probably saw this coming, unless you're not familiar with Mountain Home, is Mountain Home's not in in the mountains were actually just like in the foothills of the mountains if you will so originally mountain home was in the mountains but was moved just to the foothills to be closer to the railroad i'm going to do a video actually based on mountain home not being in the mountains so i'll go into more detail um, hopefully really soon in fact it might be in the next video or two pro number four the weather here is usually rather pleasant we do have our winners and i did talk about the weather in Mountain Home in another video. Uh, we do have our winters that gets cold. In fact, today, for a better part of the day, it was below freezing. And during the summer, we do have a time where we're in the hundreds. But for the most part, it doesn't get real, real, real bad. It does snow here, but the snow is rather mild compared to a lot of places. And once again, I go over this in the weather of Mountain Home video a little bit more detail. But in case you haven't seen that, our weather here is actually pretty mellow for the most part. Pro number five, we're conveniently located next to quite a few nice scenic locations. We have the mountains just north of us, which I kind of talked about earlier. Uh, we have Bruno Dunes to the south. We have the Snake Rivers not real far away. Even Twin Falls and the Twin Falls Canyon and Shoshone Falls, uh, you're looking about 80 to 90 miles. So we're kind of surrounded by all these little scenic locations that you can go up. There's lots of camping sites up in the mountains of course there's places that people go fishing so it's really kind of a cool place to go and check out if you're someone who likes to take pictures you can spend just hours and hours and days and days out taking scenic shots and a lot of people do the con there would be the directly surrounding mountain home except for the mountains to the north is mostly just desert i myself actually find it really pretty in fact i love taking drives and just recording uh, the video around and I have another video here where literally that's what I do I just go drive the local desert around and hit a couple of the towns and I go by the Bruno Dunes so if that interests you really the video I made it because I like to watch them when I ride the exercise bike and I like to feel like I'm actually driving that fast or riding that fast on the bike that's why I make those videos but it would actually be a good way for you to see the surrounding area hopefully soon I'll also do a video 
where I go up into the mountains and kind of uh, do a scenic drive through video that way as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this far. If you would like a relocation guide to the Treasure Valley, go to tvguide.randywrealestate.com. Other than that, I try to put out videos every Friday. I say try because like I said, I did go through a month there where I didn't get anything out. Actually, it was a little bit over a month, just to be honest. I did shoot a lot of video and I have a lot of driving and I even have some aerial footage for an upcoming project. I just wasn't ready to put that out yet. So, all right. Well, hope you have a great week and we'll see you later. Bye.